looking at this one, it's not set equal to zero, so we'll need to add this 10x term over, or the 10y term over, to have this set equal to zero. So we're looking at y squared, and I'm going to go ahead and put this here just so my y's are in order. 10y plus 9 is equal to zero, so all I did was add it over here. So now I'm left with the trinomial, and I need to factor that. First I need to see if it has a GCF, and it doesn't. So I'm going to go ahead and do the box method with this. And my first term goes in the upper left-hand box. My last term goes in my bottom box. So I'm going to find numbers that multiply to 9 that add or subtract to 10. So let's try 9 and 1. So 9 times 1 multiplies to 9, and 9 plus 1 adds to 10. So those are my right numbers. So 9y and 1y here. And now I'm going to pull out my GCFs. This has a GCF of 1. That's a y, that's a y, and that's a 9. So when we pull those out, we say y plus 9, and because it was set equal to 0 here, we're going to set it equal to 0 in our answer. So subtract 9, subtract 9, y is equal to negative 9. That's one of your answers. Now we're going to take this right here, y plus 1 and set that equal to 0. So solve for y by subtracting 1 and y equals negative 1. So one of your answers is y equals negative 1 and the other one is y equals negative 9.